This is Dallas paramedic Brad Cox in 2019. And that's when he got up and, and this video led to his termination in October of 2021. He just got done explaining to officers why he got into a physical altercation with Kyle Vest before they got there. Cox says Vest started some small fires along the frontage road on I-30 and that he punched and kicked Vest after Vest attacked him. Moments later... Cox kicks and punches Vess in front of officers who end up shocking him with a taser, taking him into custody. Vess suffering a black eye, bloody nose, multiple fractures to his face, and a swollen ankle. A charge of assaulting a public servant was eventually dropped, and DPD didn't charge Cox with a crime, but when this video surfaced, it cost him his job. A job... 100% didn't agree with, with going down that route. He now gets to return to... If you defend yourself, are you now subject to termination? The Dallas Firefighters Association has supported Cox all along. Cox has always claimed self-defense. He appealed his termination, and almost two years later, an administrative law judge ruled last week he shouldn't have been fired. Cox now reinstated, but he was demoted and is not receiving any back pay. President Jim McDade calls it a principal win for rank and file. If somebody continues to attack, attack, attack me or my crew, I'm going to defend myself, period. Kicked a man in the head. It's a miracle he didn't kill him. George Milner, however, sees it differently. He's an attorney who represented Vess in his criminal proceedings. I don't know how you trust him. I mean, they fire those police officers left and right, and they uphold it on substantially lesser offenses than what Brad Cox did. Vess's family is suing the city and Cox. He can return to his regular duties as soon as he completes some training and the city can appeal his win. It's not clear if it will. In Dallas, I'm Matt Howerton.